going to take us through our co-health medium level virtual strength group workout. So today we're going to start with a warm up. We've got two exercises. One of them is marching. The other one is punching. We're going to do 20 seconds of one exercise, have 10 seconds rest, 20 seconds of the other, and then alternate those exercises eight times in total. So let's get going. Are you ready, Jimmy? Yes. Exercise. Starting your top it off workout. Exercise. Marching on the spot. Make sure we're breathing throughout this exercise and throughout our entire session today. Keep going. Three, two, one. Rest. Beautiful. Take some time, take some deep breaths. All right, punching straight out in front. Reaching nice and straight. Trying to go as far as you can with those punches. And you can do this as quick as you like, whatever pace suits you. Three, two, one. Rest. Rest there. Now we're going to go back to marching. Are you ready? Yes. And off we go. Really good. Trying to lift those knees, swing those arms. We're nearly there. Excellent work everyone. Now we know what comes next. Back to punching. Arms up. Exercise. Off we go. Nice strong punches forward. Really good. Making sure we're not holding our breath. Keep working hard. Rest. Rest. Well done. We're halfway, doing such a good job. Back to our marching. Exercise. Go. Now you can make this a little bit harder if you want and you can start a little bit of a jog on the spot if you're feeling this is a bit too easy or if it's a bit too hard, you can do it sitting down as well. Rest. Well done, have a rest. Punching. Exercise. Go. Well done. Deep breathing. You should be feeling a little bit warmer by now. Warming up both those leg and arm muscles. Three, two, one. Rest. Yes. Excellent work. Alright, last round of marching. So knees up nice and high if you can. If you need to have the chair next to you for this one as well, that's alright. Three, two, one. Rest. Rest. Good. Now we've got one more round of punching. Arms up. Exercise. Go. Keep going. Last round of punching, so work hard. Keep breathing. You'll get a rest after this, this lot, so keep working really hard. You're really close. Here we are. And rest. Well done. For our second round of warm ups, you should be feeling a little bit warm, but we're gonna get a little bit more warm. So, our next two exercises are squat with alternating leg lift or knee lift. 
So like Joby's doing, we're gonna squat down and then lift one leg, place it back down, squat and bring the other one up. The second exercise is rolling your arms, leaning forward and up again. Beautiful. All right, we shall start the timer and get going. Starting your top and on workout. So Exercise. Squat, lift up that knee. Beautiful. Now, if you need to, you can have the chair nearby and you can hold on to the chair while you do this exercise. So remember, we've got rolling of arms now. Exercise. Go. So rolling those arms, leaning a little bit forward and standing back up tall. So you might feel a little bit of a pull in the back of those legs in your bottom as you come forward. That's okay. Just go to where you feel comfortable. So Jebby's going to show you how you're going to do this one holding onto the chair now. So if you need to, you can have your chair. Exercise. Squat, lift. Squat, lift. Just for a little bit of support as we are coming up onto one leg. So up to you. If you can do it without the chair, that's good. If you need the chair for a bit of a support, that's okay as well. Rest. Rest there, Jebby. Doing really well. Exercise. All right, roll those arms forward and backward. Really good. Keep breathing. We don't want to hold our breath at all for any of these exercises. Rest. And rest. Well done. Exercise. Here we go. Over halfway for this round. You're doing really good. So just bend those knees, even if it's a tiny little bit, that's okay. Just do what's comfortable for you. Rest. Well done. We're nearly there, everyone. Doing such a good job. Arms up. Exercise. Rolling and standing up nice and tall. Good. Keep going. exercise component of the class. We're going to do four different exercises, 10 repetitions of each. And then if you would like to do another set of each of these exercises, you can pause the video 
and do another set of, of 10 of each and you can complete that two or three times. So the first exercise we have is our sit to stand. Hands across our chest, feet shoulder width apart, standing up, slowly coming down. Beautiful. Our next exercise is our hip abduction. With our chair, bring our leg out to the side and back in. Keeping up nice and tall. See how Jebby's toe is pointing in, not out. Third exercise we have hip extension. Holding onto the chair, using our bottom, bringing our leg back, squeeze our bottom. Beautiful. And our fourth exercise is our calf raise. So coming up onto our tippy toes and slowly lowering yourself back down. Excellent. All right, let's start with our sit to stand. So on our sturdy chair, hands across our chest. Let's go, we're gonna do 10. One, two, see how Jebby's knees are open, three, we don't want our knees coming together, four, nice and slow, five, halfway, see how Jebby's controlling six, the movement on the way down, no clotting, Seven, eight, got two more, nine, last one, ten, excellent work. Alright, let's move on, hip abduction or leg out to the side, so with your chair, holding on, up nice and tall. Let's bring our leg out to the side. One. Keeping our toe in. Two. Three. We're not leaning over. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, one more, ten. All right, now we need to do the other leg. You can move your chair around if you like. Take your time. Off we go. One, two, three, keep breathing. Four, five, six. Seven, nearly there. Eight, nine, one more. Ten. Good work. Now, next one, we do hip extension, the leg behind. So we're going to use our big bottom muscle here. So I'm standing up nice and tall, not leaning forward, holding onto the chair. Let's bring one leg behind. One. Two, so really try and squeeze your bottom as you bring your leg back. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. Good job. Other leg. So you can keep your chair where it is if you like. Off we go. Squeeze your bottom. One, two. Now, if this is too hard, you can just tap. Three, four. Remember, there's always options. Five, halfway. Six, seven, eight. Two more. Nine, last one. Ten. Excellent work. Now last 
one, we have our car phrases. Make sure that it's up, up we go. One, nice and slow on the way down. Two. Three, so it's important to control both sides of the movement. Four. Five. exercises. So grab your TheraBand or resistance band. Our first exercise is our TheraBand pull apart. So holding the band, pulling apart and squeezing your shoulder blades together. So as you pull out, squeeze together and slowly back in. Next exercise is with the band shoulder press. So you might want to have a little bit of a closer hold on your band. Slight tension on the band, but hands shouldn't be wider than shoulder width apart. And we're going to push straight above our heads, breathing out and breathing in as we lower. Excellent work. Number three, we have our chest press. Grabbing the band around the back, make sure it's lower on your back, not up near your neck. Holding on, feet again, shoulder apart, and pushing straight out in front, slowly back. Perfect. Well done. Our third exercise, fourth exercise, sorry, is our bicep curl. We're gonna grab the band, Put it under one foot, hold on to it, nice and tall, lock our elbows in by our side, and curling our arms up to our shoulders and back down. See how Jebby's elbow stays directly by her side, it doesn't move forward or backwards. Excellent work. Now this can be done in standing or sitting, so if you need to sit down at any point along the way, feel free to do that. All right, let's start with 10 of our pull aparts. Off we go. One, two, so make sure we control the band. Three, on the way back. Four, five, we're really pinching our shoulder blades together. So as we pull the band back, we're squeezing six, our shoulder blades together, seven, eight, keeping our shoulders down, nine, we've got one more, ten, well done. All right, shoulder press, hands might need to come a little bit closer, slight tension on that band, soft knees, and we're going to push straight above your head. One, good, good breathing. So remember we breathe out as we bring the band up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. your back. Remember, a little bit lower, not close to your neck. Holding on to the band and we're going to do our chest press. So remember, knees, shoulder, feet shoulder width apart and knees soft. Let's push straight out in front. One. Good work. 
two. So three there as you push your right. Three. Four. the other three will allow you to have a little bit more balance four five really good we're breathing out as we bring our hands up six seven eight set of those exercises feel free to stop the video or go back to the start of those ones and complete another two or three sets well done Finish up with a little bit of cardiovascular exercise. We've got our Tabata timer again and two exercises. So we have half a star jump. Great. And our second exercise is our feet in and out. So we're stepping out and stepping in. So try not to take too wide of a step that first step. We don't want you doing the splits and stepping in. Now it's completely up to you how fast or slow you'd like to do these two exercises. You work at your own pace. All right, are you ready, Jimmy? Yes. Let's get going. Resuming your exercise. Off we go. Start jumps or what we call half stars. Making sure we're breathing. Rest. Rest. So we have feet in and out. Three, two, one. Exercise. Out, out, in, in. So take your time with this. It doesn't have to be quick. Really good. You work at your own pace, whatever feels right for you. Yes. Yes. Now back to our half stars. In three, two, one. Exercise. Make sure you're breathing. Three, two, one. Rest. And rest. Now we're going to add in some arms with our legs in and out. So it's up to you. You can do both. Exercise. Out, out, in, in. So. Up to you, you can stick with just legs, or you can join Jebby doing arms and legs. And yes. Yes. well done. Exercise. Back to half stop. 
stars. Really good. Now these can be done sitting down as well. So if you need a break and you'd like to continue sitting down, feel free. Up to you. Yes. Over halfway, guys. Doing a really good job. Three, two, one. Exercise. Out, out, in, in. Well done. And remember, you can have a rest anytime throughout these sessions. You just work at the pace that you can manage. Nearly there, Jebby, you're doing really well. So is everyone else, well done. Exercise. Off we go. Half stars. Last set of these. that workout and we're going to finish up with a stretch so sitting in your chair we're going to start with rolling our shoulders back that's it and forward nice deep breaths now reaching up above your head and then touch the ceiling into those fingers bringing your hands together Coming forward and trying to push straight out in front of you and separate your shoulder blades. Keep breathing. Now swim your arms back and open up your chest. Feel a stretch across your chest. And relaxing down. We're going to look over your shoulder, turning through our waist, looking over our shoulder. Other way. Just go where it's comfortable. Don't push into any pain. Coming back to centre. Ear to shoulder. Feel a stretch down the side of your neck. Slowly go to the other side. Keep breathing. back to centre. Let's roll our wrists. Change directions. And roll our ankles. One at a time. Change directions. Our ankle. Change direction. We're going to do our hamstring stretch. So sitting forward in your chair. One foot out nice and straight, hands on your bent knee, sitting up nice and tall, and we're going to lean forward from our waist. See how Jebby's toes pointing directly to the ceiling, and you should feel a lovely stretch down the back of your leg. Keep breathing. And changing legs. Throw your other leg out nice and straight, hands on your bent knee, up nice and tall, leaning forward from your waist. So you feel a stretch down the back of your leg. You might not have to go too far at all to feel the stretch, or you might need to come a little bit further forward. Up to you. Great. 
Last one, taking your time standing up. You may need to hold on to something with this one if you would like. Calf stretch, so one foot out in front, one foot behind. We want to keep our back foot on the ground, back heel on the ground, and we're just leaning forward, pushing that knee forward until we feel a stretch down the back of that back leg in the calf muscle. Change legs. So your other leg in front, one leg behind. Push that knee forward, keeping that back heel firmly on the ground. Well done. Come back up to standing. Excellent work, everyone. You have now completed Co-Health's medium level virtual group exercise class. Thanks for joining us today um, and hopefully we'll see you all very soon. If you have any questions at all, please give us a call. Thanks, Joby.